I'll start with this essay on um, university students and freedom. It has been suggested that university students are too free, so that they do not spend enough time on studies. Um, instead of saying too free, I think you should say it's been suggested that university students have too much free time, comma, so that they do not spend enough time on students. Or you could say university students have too much freedom, because to be free is different from, from to have uh, a lot of free time. In my opinion, I tend to be an opponent of this idea, as I think students can take advantage of, of their free time, you need a pronoun, of their free time to gain work and social experience. Good. Which is also important for their academic performance and career development. Okay. This essay will use empirical studies from China to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay, that's a good introduction. It's widely believed that most universities to lead off adopt a credit system which allows students to choose courses that interest them and are more fle or, or and have more flexible schedules. Um, that makes the sentence more concise and do try to be concise if you can. Okay, there was there was unnecessary um, extra words at the end of that sentence. That is to say, students have more freedom and time to participate in community activities and take some part-time jobs, which will be advantageous for, for students to improve their practical uh, abilities. So you say, which will be advantageous for students and help to improve their practical abilities, such as communication skills and time management. Very good argument. According to the empirical research by Beijing University, nearly 90% of students were satisfied with the credit system. And so you need to connect your clauses and they suggested that engaging, just be careful of your spellings, your spelling engaging, so you need E-N-G-A-G-I-N-G. -E engaging more community, so engaging with more community activities made them feel more confident to face challenges, again be careful of your spelling, so challenges in the future. Thus it can be seen that using free time to enrich life experience, thus it can be seen that using free time to enrich life experience can be beneficial to one's development. Um, yes, so, so thus it can be seen that using your free time and then that's very good. Actually, that's a very well structured paragraph. You've given me a good topic sentence. You've developed your ideas, given me research to support it, and a concluding sentence. So, well structured paragraph there. Moreover, having much freedom does not mean students are failed to focus on. So, okay, does not mean students have failed. So, just you need present perfect there. So, have failed to focus on their studies. You need a pronoun. Conversely, when students have much more freedom, they are able to spend more time on exploring a certain, again, careful of your spelling, so certain is C-R-T-A-I-N, um, by exploring a certain topic or reading books. Good. Although completing tasks, so you'd have to say that are requested by tutors, or you could say completing tasks requested by tutors, so you could omit the that is important. Making use of free time to develop some interests is also significant for students' academic performance. Okay. A recent study by the Chinese Education Centre has shown that there is about 60% of knowledge people can learn from textbooks. So you'd have to say has shown that 60% of knowledge people can, you could say absorb actually, I prefer that there, can absorb from textbooks and almost 40% of in information and skills people, oh you've got to absorb there, okay, so people will acquire, you can say acquire knowledge, so uh, people will acquire from entertaining activities such as reading various books, watching TV and films, good. Therefore, concentrating on textbooks is not only one effect is not only one effective way for students to learn knowledge. 
So you have to say concentrated on textbooks is not the only is not the only effective way for students to learn knowledge. Actually, it's not learn knowledge. The collocation is acquire. We say to acquire knowledge. Okay, so just be careful of the correct collocation. But again, you've structured your paragraph very well and you've supported your argument. So well done. To conclude, although students spend less time in the class. It is clear that making good use of free time to engage in some meaningful, meaningful activities or develop. You put habits, I think you mean hobbies. So that again could be a spelling issue, but it looks like habits there. So to engage in some meaningful activities or develop hobbies will be also significantly beneficial to one's development both academically and socially. It's quite a long sentence that you could have put that into two. So let's have a look to conclude. Although well, students spend less time in the class, I, I prefer in the classroom, it's clear that making good use of free time, so it should be making good use of your free time to engage in some meaningful activities or develop hobbies, will also, delete B, will also significantly benefit one's development both academically and socially so you just had to slightly um, grammatically change that last part but again you, it's good you've given me a clear viewpoint uh, you've provided a consistent argument uh, you've certainly answered the question so you've got your marks for task fulfillment there so overall this is a good essay well done okay we're going to look at the um, letter of complaint to a travel company dear sir madam okay I'm writing to make a complaint about my disappointed trip. Okay, disappointed is an emotion and trip is a thing, so you can't put that together. So I'm writing to make a complaint about a disappointing ING trip to London with your company. I booked 10 days, okay, so I booked a 10 days trip. So put those words together instead of adding an extra preposition. So I booked a 10 days trip to London for my parents and um, okay and I so so I uh, for my parents and myself comma last month you don't need to put from you because you've already said with your company so it's unnecessary repetition just uh, d delete it was our first time to visit London and we were very excited about the trip but the accommodation offered by your company made us very disappointed okay very good sentence. In the agreement, not on, so in the agreement I signed with you, it shows that we would live in a five-star hotel. Okay, that's good. Unfortunately, we were, okay, not arranged, so we were booked into, so unfortunately we were booked into a cheap youth hotel which did not offer breakfast and hot water after 10 p.m. Okay, there's a space after 10 and p.m. We tried to contact your company, comma, but there was, okay, delete there. So we tried to contact your company, but no one answered the phone. So delete there in one. Or replied um, to my email. Okay, so not to me at the end. Such unawful, you need uh, an article, member experience is accountable noun. So such an awful experience made me want to ask for a full refund. Well, I, I think I would just say such an awful, and I would say actually due to such an awful experience, um, I would like to ask for a full refund. Because that's clear that you're asking now. Um, and also I want is, is quite informal so I would like to ask for a full refund as you did not provide us with a good service as described in the agreement okay, or in the contract okay I hope you can take my complaint seriously and apply to me as soon as possible yours faithfully okay this is good as well I think you've you've um, absolutely answered the question you've fulfilled the task you've um, it's good task fulfillment because you've covered three points in the question. Uh, it's very clear and it's actually quite well written, so well done.